Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to talk to you guys how to create subway art in Inkscape. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. I have gone through some different techniques to utilize this in Silhouette Studio. Um, I wanted to go through Inkscape. I personally think Inkscape is way more powerful than Silhouette Studio for something like this because you have more options to um, manipulate your text around curves and things of that nature. So if you're looking to do something like this, I definitely recommend Inkscape. Um, you can play around with the different techniques that I'm about to show you and hopefully you can create something really, really cool. Okay. So again, uh, for those of you who haven't seen the other video, I'm just going to do a little bit of background. I had a person in my uh, Facebook group ask if I could show some videos on how to, um, how to uh, create word art that is similar to this or similar to this. Okay. Uh, and while I think this is a copyright material, I do uh, know that this is completely doable um, in any um, uh, 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 graphic design software that you're utilizing, depending on what tools you have to use at your leisure. So um, going back to Inkscape, um, I don't have anything on my canvas right now, um, but to show you one simple way to do it, um, you can create a, all right, well, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to create a spiral. Okay. And we're going to start there. I'm going to put this into the middle of the canvas. I'm going to go to my text tool. I already have my milky rainbow set up. So I'm going to say, hello, I am going to put some text. If I can type today on a curve, on a serve, try again, curve. Okay. Now with both of these selected, with both of these selected, you can go to uh, text and then put on path. And you can see that it's gonna place your text onto this curve. Now, you can click on your text box here and continue to type as long as you have this set up here. And you can keep it going for as long as your heart desires until the circle is full. And then you can create SVGs. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So, um, I filled up the entirety of this spiral. Um, if that is the type of curve that you are looking for and to get out of this, all you simply do is click and then, uh, you can remove your text from that spiral. Okay. You can do this with any curve in Inkscape. Once you get your shape set on your curve, then you're going to want to obviously take it off, right? So um, you're going to select your text and you're just going to go to path and you're going to go to stroke to path. Okay. Okay. So, I'm sorry. You're going to go to path union and you should be able to remove that and you're going to be good to go. Okay. You just want to make sure with your nodes, you see, there's all these little nodes here. You're going to go to uh, path stroke to path and then you're going to go to path union and hopefully everything uh, will be situated because for some reason it is showing a buttload of notes. And that may very well just be the text. So Anyways, everything should be welded up and you should be good to go. So, um, again, you know, you can check that out there. We don't need to see 
all these little nodes. I don't know why it's showing me all these little nodes. Normally it doesn't. But anyways, that's one option. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way. Okay, another option that you have is you can create a busier curve. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to hold my control key to keep it at a 45 degree angle and do this. And whoops, let me try that again. Okay, I'm done. Go to my nodes and I'm just gonna make um, a curve here by clicking on this middle. And then, okay, and you can adjust that however you see fit, depending on what look you're going for. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep it simple, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to flip it. I'm going to say, no curves. Okay. And I'm going to do the same process again. Select. I'm going to go to text. Put on path. Okay. Now, if you want this to go all the way over the hump, all you need to do is increase your font size and it will continue to bring it over, um, okay, depending on uh, how big you're looking to go. Well, that was a little bit too big. Okay, here we go. And that's it. So you can do this on any type of curve. Now again, you can move this, but that's not going to really do you any good, so you're just going to want to go to path, um, union, and then stroke the path, okay? Mm. You can see that it kind of moves these a lot around a little bit. Um, so for a script text, it's not necessarily the best, but once you delete that, then you have your words in this shape. So you can use the Bezier uh, curve to kind of get what you're looking for in terms of uh, the wave or whatever. If you wanted to do Um, if you wanted to do something like that, you know, you can click on your points and uh, create these um, sine waves and have the words kind of be wavy. If you're going for like some weird beach theme or something, I don't know. All right, I have a little extra node there, I think. I'm just going to delete. Um, and you can kind of do the same process there. So now I am on multiple curves okay so you're gonna do the same thing click and click and text and put on path and you can see how it manipulates the text over the curves again with this script font it can get a little uh, weird right you could do the same thing on just basic shapes as well curves on a shape and then select, and then go to put on path, and you know, kind of uh, manipulate it from there. What I am trying to figure out is okay, yeah, so you can rotate the shape, but what I'm trying to figure out real as if there's a way for me to um, rotate and I can and you'll see that it'll fit like right there but anyways uh, those are the different things that you can utilize on Inkscape to manipulate your text to be swirly twirly and curvy based off of whatever shapes you're using. So you can utilize the Bezier tool curve, the Bezier curve tool to draw your heart shape and then get your text to do the forals around there um, and kind of manipulate it that way. To go over with the different tools that you can utilize on Inkscape to manipulate your text. Um, the script texts are a little harder to manipulate with, but you do have the ability to do a little bit more with the script text than you would with Silhouette, which would take hours and hours. Really the main goal of this is to be able to manipulate your fonts and your text 
so that you can successfully create whatever uh, image you're going for. And I will just show you in the other video. Um, I had, you know, Googled um, word subway art. And you can see most of the stuff is pretty boxy. Uh, and you do have some that are in shapes. But for the most part, you know, like this one I had up as an example, isn't a heart. Um, they just have kind of words going around there. And I can tell that they just utilize like the conical warp tool um, that you would see in silhouette. And on this one, they just kind of uh, use the rotate function to tilt those words. Uh, but I mean, people do it for all sorts of stuff. And you just kind of fill in the open space as you go through. And I did have an example up um, from Silhouette Studio of one that I did with different fonts and words in that I just um, typed out, put the different fonts in and kind of went through. You could do the same thing here. You just have some more options for moving around shapes in Inkscape than you would in another computer program. Um, and then, you know, I just went ahead and uh, word subway art on heart and you can see kind of what that looks like. Uh, you know, there's a hand shape here and, and how people are, are utilizing these tools. Okay, so um, those are just some ways that you can manipulate text in Inkscape to achieve a subway art look. Um, it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing, but if you feel like that's going to be a good niche, then it's definitely something that you should look into doing. Um, and if you have any questions on anything that I went through, please go ahead and drop a comment in the comments box below. I'm more than happy to help. Or head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. I'm more than happy to help you out over there. And so is the wonderful group of people that we have uh, at 1K Members and Growing. And as always, if you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. I will definitely uh, help if you need it and let me know if you need anything else. I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.